I ended up in the construction industry because when I was in college, I was changing my major from graphic design to architecture, and there was an introduction to architecture and engineering class. When I took that class, uh, civil engineering was the most interesting to me, and so I decided to just change back to civil engineering and haven't looked back. I got into the construction industry, I would say at an early age, one of my first words was struction, that's what my mom tells me. Um, from there I did landscape construction for about 15 years and then changed gears, went back to school and coincidentally saw a banner for the company I work for on the fence across the street and I started there about 10 years ago. Um, my management started, I was a junior PM and then worked my way up and now I am a estimator and a PM. I ended up in the construction industry because as a young girl I started going to work with my dad who he owned a small remodeling company. So. Went to work swinging a hammer and hanging drywall with him and just fell in love with how you could transform a space, walking into you know something that's maybe a little bit run down and being able to see the life that can be put back into it and the good that it comes out for the people that are going to be using that space, which is just something that I loved. So I have kind of a unique path to the construction industry. Um, I went to Ohio State and actually graduated with a psychology degree, um, but graduated in the middle of COVID or um, right as COVID was starting to happen and uh, the job market was not great and I was able to start with the Regency as a carpenter and really uh, I've always had an interest in construction and after I was working as a carpenter for a few years I realized that I wanted to move into the office and I've uh, been able to experience different things such as estimating and uh, I worked as a project engineer as well and now I'm a project manager. I started out working in a hardware slash lumber yard and while I was there they taught me how to read blueprints and from there I just started uh, doing takeoffs for different smaller projects, houses and pole barns and that kind of thing and then I just kind of got bigger, uh, doing bigger work, you know, more commercial type stuff and uh, until I landed in safety, which I, I, it, I took to that very quickly and really liked it and, you know, just ran with it. In an old closet tucked far away, there is a pair of Carhartt coveralls, once tailored for me as a kid from a pair that my dad wore back in the day. And I used to wear those coveralls on the weekends when my dad would go to work cleaning up the shop and the shop yard. And I remember gliding across a dirty old concrete floor, holding tightly onto a sliding chain that used to ho hoist the tractor trailers off the ground for repair. And in my late teens, my dad would call me up to watch a big press being moved while he'd explain the gantry system and the tipping points, all of which left a very nervous but excited feeling in the pit of my stomach. Fast forward to today, as the third generation, I sit next to my dad with that same old, familiar, nervous, but excited feeling as we work together running the family business into its 105th year. So the company motto, from concept to reality, best describes the reason why I love the industry. Watching the initial plans be brought to life and seeing the progress and the teamwork come to fruition in a completed project is just fascinating.